All right, so Minitune did another 40-minute interview with Ant Antics about uh, the future of Piggy. We've got some new updates, some big new changes coming to the game. And in this video, we're going to break down everything. I also have a link to the original video down below. I understand 40 plus minutes is a lot of video and a lot of content to really consume. So I've went ahead, I've went through that video. I've written down every big, important detail and juicy information about the future of Piggy. And we're going to talk about it right now. So I've got all these details written down on my phone. They range from uh, minuscule to actually pretty important. So let's go ahead we're just going to go from the top all the way down to the bottom in no particular order let's get started so the first interesting piece of information is that minitune is planning on doing another skin contest of course the two skins that were added in the last skin contest we have budgie and then of course we have ghosty here they were both added in in the last skin contest i think a lot of people had a lot of fun with that and he is going to be doing another one in the future so look forward to that the next thing we kind of already knew but i wanted to throw it on here anyway minitune is going to be adding 100 player book two so book two will eventually be coming to uh to 100 player piggy which is cool i know a lot of people like that game it's kind of eh for me but you know it should be fun uh, every now and then we also kind of knew this but minitune did confirm once again that zuzi is going to be showing up in some form uh from chapter 7 to 12 of course we haven't seen the end of zizzy it, you know willow actually mentioned zizzy at the end of the last chapter chapter 6 so of course we're, we're gonna see or hear about zizzy again so i'm looking forward to that minitune also said that the story in the second half of book two is going to be a little bit more slower paced there is a lot of things that happen in the front half of of book two it was a very fast paced uh you know like half chapter like like literally so many things happened at the end of chapter two it was absolutely insane just how fast paced the story was going so he said that the back half is going to be a little bit more you know a little bit more relaxed still still crazy still intense but a little bit more relaxed going at a little bit of a slower pace so that sounds good to me minitune also said that willow wolf is his favorite character and that we will find out why uh she is his favorite character in chapter seven and eight she's going to be doing some really cool things so i, I you know I, i'm a big fan of Willow Wolf. I think you guys are too. So that sounds good to me. Now, this is the interesting one and the one I'm most excited about. He said that he is going to be changing the carnival map and the factory maps. Now, I know the carnival is like everybody's favorite chapter. Like literally, if you go to Roblox Piggy and you click play and you go into the game, chances are like literally like like five out of like seven times every single time you do it, they're going to be playing carnival simply because carnival is the easiest map in the game. Literally as a survivor, it is so difficult to actually die on that map and it is so easy to complete that map if you're with a group of good players you can literally complete the entire map it sometimes before even the piggy spawns um it, it is insane just how fast that map can be completed with a group of good players on top of that if you are playing as piggy it's almost impossible to catch the survivors I, I i know i've been over this millions of times but it's almost impossible to catch the survivors because the entire map is a giant square and you can literally just run around the square repeatedly over and over and over again and if you didn't know survivors are actually a little bit faster than piggy so it basically makes it impossible for the piggy to catch the players especially when the piggy only has four traps so minitune is going to be redoing the carnival map he said he's going to be adding some more debris around the map some more obstacles so that you can't just constantly run around the map in a straight line you are gonna have to take some paths and it is gonna be uh considerably more difficult to do he also said he's gonna do the same thing for factory of course factory has the same problem it's got that little giant square outside uh you know on the outside part of the map so really looking forward to this i hate the carnival map it's my least favorite map in the game i know a lot of you guys are probably upset about this change you're like oh no dude it's gonna be hard now yes carnival is going to be harder i'm looking forward to this um that's great that's great that's fantastic because it's my least favorite map in the game and i'm really really excited to see uh the new carnival minitune also said that they do want to add in cutscenes into build mode not intro cutscenes but outro cutscenes which means you can go into build mode and you'll be able to customize your own cutscene and literally make your own story in build mode we've kind of known that this was coming for a while but it was kind of iffy maybe they'll do it maybe they're not minitune definitely does want to do it so i'm looking forward to that something else interesting is minitune said he is also going to be redesigning the house map now i'm not sure if he's going to be redesigning the house map in regular piggy but he, he did say that he's going to be doing it in piggy intercity and of course if you play piggy intercity you'll know that a lot of the the maps on there are put on like it's all the maps put into one map and in order to make the house feel uh relevant and feel good and feel um you know like it belongs there he is going to need to redesign it a little bit so the house is going to be getting redesigned of course it may also be because uh, like you know uh, of course piggy is based a little bit on granny it is the granny house like the chapter one house is pretty much the exact same house from granny so it would make sense for it to be redesigned so 
All right, well, we'll, we'll see how it is. They also confirmed that the new house redesign will have a toilet in the bathroom. I know a lot of people were concerned about that. I was concerned about that. Like, where in the world do these piggies pee at? Uh, kitchen sink, maybe? But, you know, that's soft. Good. Thank God. Okay. And then Minitune also did give one final hint about the future chapters of Piggy. This right here in the trailer is important. This is a beacon. Uh, he basically confirmed that this is a beacon. We, I mean, I, I kind of already guessed that, but, I mean, it wasn't really clear. So, this is a beacon. He said this is important to the story. There's a lot of notes as they're talking about this, but what it is, we don't know. Now, of course, I've made tons of theories on it. I may make another theory video on it now that Minitune has said that it is actually important, but this is a beacon. So cool. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing what it is. Now, of course, there's a lot of other things that Minitune and Ant Antics talked about in the interview. I'm not going to go over everything because it's a 44 minute long video, but that's all the important parts. That's everything you need to know. Of course, uh, we should be getting another uh, piggy update next weekend. The inner city update should be coming out next weekend. Minitune did say it is going to be coming out in March. Obviously, Obviously, next weekend is the last week of March. So hopefully we get it then. That'd be epic. And of course, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you're subscribed. We're, we're so close to 3 million subs. I, I'm really excited. Let me know down below what we should do for 3 million subs. I mean, there's not really much we can do right now because, you know, there's an apocalypse outside and stuff. But I'm looking forward to it regardless. I, I think it should be pretty fun. Keep using the star code real free when you're buying your Robux or buying Roblox Premium. It helps me out. It allows me to just keep buying Robux codes to give out to you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!